Have you ever wondered if we could custom design our future generations? Imagine a world where we could pick and choose the traits of our offspring, like selecting features from a menu. This is the potential power of genetic engineering, a field of science that opens up the possibility of manipulating the very building blocks of life itself. It's a tantalizing prospect, isn't it? Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But it's actually a reality that we're inching towards. Genetic engineering is not as complex as it sounds. Now don't let that statement scare you off. It's a bit like cooking, but instead of ingredients, we're using genes. Let's break it down. Genetic engineering is the process of manipulating an organism's genes using biotechnology. It's the science of tweaking the blueprints of life. Imagine you're an architect and genes are your building blocks. You've identified a particular block. Let's call it the gene of interest. You want to incorporate this block into your masterpiece, but how do you do that? Well, you need a vehicle, a transporter, a vector. This vector is like a courier service for genes, delivering the gene of interest right where it needs to go. But it's not as simple as just dropping off a package. The vector has to integrate the gene of interest into the host organism. It's like embedding a secret message into a letter. Now this is a simplified explanation. The actual process is like a high-stakes game of molecular Jenga, involving much more detail and precision. It's a world where even the tiniest slip could have huge implications. In essence, we're cutting and pasting genes just like how you would in a Word document. Only this has far-reaching implications. Genetic engineering is a tool, and like any tool, it's all about how we use it. But more on that later. Like any powerful tool, genetic engineering has its benefits and drawbacks. It holds immense potential to transform our world, from eradicating life-threatening diseases to boosting crop yields to feed billions. Imagine a future where mosquitoes no longer spread malaria, or where crops are naturally resistant to pests, eliminating the need for harmful pesticides. And let's not forget biofuel production, a promising solution for our energy needs and a step towards a greener planet. But we must also confront the ethical and safety concerns that come along. For instance, there are potential health risks that we might not fully understand or anticipate. Altering the genetic makeup of an organism is no small feat, and we must tread carefully. And then there's the moral question of playing God. Do we have the right to manipulate life at such a fundamental level? These questions are not easy to answer. So genetic engineering, a boon or a bane, only time will tell. Time. Before we wrap up, here's a thought for you. Genetic engineering gives us remarkable powers, but with great power comes great responsibility. So ponder on this. Would you design your child if given a chance? Think about it and let us know your thoughts in the comments below.